so the um, following the crater flyovers, the last big scene of the show is a one which we fly pull out from the asteroid from the sun to show the asteroid belts. So in that case, I actually tried, and I probably made it overly complex. Um, uh, Warwick Telescope has asteroids uh, separate into different zones, and so these are zones that come radially out from the sun. The zone zone one is the closest to the sun. Zone seven is the furthest away. Um, and so, uh, of the ones that I'm showing, I think there actually are a couple more zones I'm not showing of the Kuiper Belt and Oort Cloud. But uh, essentially, as I pull out from the sun, as time passes, uh, I put an orient. I move the camera such the orientation is is looking down at the sun, and then as I pull out, um, I actually turn on one zone after the other. It's a little bit hard to see here, um, but you can see that there's uh, this turns on one zone, this turns on another, and so. At, uh, different zones come on one after the other. Now, I was trying to create an effect where it kind of um, rained down on you as you were pulling out. Um, it turns out that unless you're looking in that direction, you don't notice it. So it's a little bit of um, effort that probably didn't make as much bang as I thought, but it's kind of a cool thing to have. Um, then I, uh, then the other thing that happens is uh, once we, until, uh, for a while, when the pullout happens, we're not moving time. So up until this point, you see this, the orbits stay stationary. Um, all I'm doing is moving the camera. At a little bit after 43 seconds, I now start moving time forward, and now you can see that all the all the asteroids are now orbiting, the planets are orbiting, um, and actually you can't see it on this uh, display because it's actually above the. Um, above the uh, plane, I think maybe at the end we can see it. Um, the There's actually text showing the date that you, that's uh, in a location you can't see in, without virtual reality. But the date tells you the passage of time, which is going pretty quickly since you're seeing the motion of planets and, and asteroids fairly far up in the sun. Um, so that's how I uh, created that. Um, I turned off the date. This is the opacity. Um, for the uh, date uh, uh, um, text box, and so it goes from uh, one here to zero near the end, um, and then fades out at the end. And then we leave this as the starting position for the next the next um, uh, slide on credits.